So this will be a different type of video because today I will be helping you on how to find the right components for your PC build. Now, if you're not into learning this stuff, you feel like it's too complicated, then I completely get it. You can watch my playlist about PC builds with the parts already picked for you. So go ahead and watch those videos if you want a PC build or maybe you want a pro PC, but I will talk about that later on this video. And it's really important for you to watch this whole video not only because I will explain you on how to find the right components, but I will also explain component by component and how I pick them. Even if you want to buy a content creation PC or a gaming, a streaming PC, whatever you want to buy. That said, let's start. So the first thing that you want to do is of course figuring your budget out. So you're going to be working with your max budget, of course. So that's going to be the first thing. It's going to be pretty easy and we are going to use $1,000 as the example later on this video because it's an easier number. The second thing is figure out your needs. If you want to do gaming, focus on the GPU. If you want to do video editing, then focus on the CPU and RAM. And if you want to do a streaming, focus on the GPU and RAM considering it's a one PC setup. I use PC part picker to choose the components and I like to put a 35% max on the GPU if it's a gaming system and a 35% max on the CPU if it's for content creation. So that's the first component that you want to look for for this type of PCs. So let's set an example here. We are going to choose first the GPU and we are going to do a thousand dollars gaming PC build. So because it's a thousand dollars and I like to spend 35% max on the GPU, I'm going to go for the price and put 300 $50 max right there 342 it's almost the same and then I like to start shopping by memory so we see that the max memory is going to be the RTX 2060 12 gigs but this is not the best one out of all of these components that's why you gotta have some GPU knowledge about this stuff because you don't want to pick the wrong GPU for gaming like I said we are doing any strict gaming desktop we are not doing content creation or anything else just gaming. So for example here the 6700 is the one that makes the most sense since it's going to be the one that's going to perform the best. So we search here the 6700 and this is the only one that we have for 340 bucks. But we also have the 6650 XT going for 284 and maybe this is a better choice and for that reason I'm going to go to tech power up and on this website i'm going to go and search over the 6650 xc and as we can see here the 6700 is not only this but the 6700 xt is and it's around 12 percent faster than the 6650 xt so it's going to be around a six percent faster than the 6650 xt and the price difference is going to be around 40 dollars more so if that makes sense to you then go ahead and buy the 6700 for me i'm going to stick with the 6650 xt it's also worth mentioning that it's a gigabyte version so it's going to be a good graphics card it's not going to be bad quality at all then i'm going to go for the cpu and for the cpu i want to search something with six cores and 12 threads since this is the sweet spot for gaming now if you want something that's more future proof then i recommend you going with eight cores instead of six but just for gaming six cores is going to be totally fine and here we can search by cores and we are going to search six on the minimum and we are going to go from the cheapest to the most expensive one however these are all cpus so i do not recommend these ones also the 5500 is going to perform similar to the i3 12100f and i'm looking for a 1440p gaming pc so the one that makes the most sense here is going to be the 5600 going for 144 bucks it's going to be around 50 dollars cheaper than the 5600x which is not much better than the 5600 and the 12400f is going to be around 30 dollars more expensive without the motherboard intel motherboards are going to be more expensive so the 5600 makes the most sense here then i want to pick the motherboard and guys please do not overspend on your motherboard a b550 is going to be all that you need for a 5600 gaming desktop so here let's say i want a full atx case and a full atx motherboard meaning that it's full size then i'm going to search by price and here i'm going to select the b550 chipset because i believe it's the best in terms of price and performance now here between motherboards there are different features but the one that i like is the msi b550a pro i really like this one but you can do your own research for your needs but i believe for gaming this is more than enough and it's all that we are going to need now if you need wi-fi on your motherboard you're going to need to spend a bit extra then we are going to choose the memory kit 
and because it's only for gaming 16 gigs will be more than enough so i like to search 2 by 86 because you always want to go with dual channel and then here we have a bunch of prices and ram kits the one that i really like is the team group t force Vulcan 16 gigs of RAM, but you can choose another one if you like others, or maybe you like RGB, then you're looking to spend around 20 extra dollars with the Team Group T4 Delta RGB 16 gigs of RAM kit. But I'm going to go with non RGB for this RAM, and we will see if we have some extra money to spend on RGB later on. Remember, for this build, we are looking for the best price to performance $1000 gaming PC build. Then we are going for storage, and since I know that I download a bunch of games, I'm looking for at least one terabyte and one thing that you can do here is compare storage one by one so for example we're going to compare the crucial p2 with the western digital blue i know that the western digital blue is going to be a bit faster the crucial p2 is up to 2400 megabytes per second on the read and 1900 megabytes per second on the write and the western digital blue we can see that is faster with 35 500 megabytes per second on the read speed now the western digital blue is going to cost 80 bucks on the us and the crucial p2 is going to cost 77 dollars so for a two dollars difference you can get the western digital blue which is going to be faster so for me it's a no-brainer once you do that you want to choose the case and here you don't want to overspend once again so i usually like to spend 10 percent max on the case and i really love this fantex eclipse g360a because you get three fans per install already for 90 bucks and you get a front mesh panel which is really important this is one thing that you want to look for if you're going to buy a case please make sure it has a front mesh panel since the airflow is going to be better and we can see that it has a front mesh panel three pre-installed fans for only 90 bucks i think that it's a pretty good deal and we need to add one more case for the exhaust fan and i'm going to go ahead and search for the fantex case fan and as we can see here we have the fsk which is 140 and the f12 osk for 120 you can pick one of these two but let's pick the 141 once we do that, we only need to spend on the power supply. And for the power supply, we can see that the estimated wattage is going to be 344. But if you want to be safe with your pick, I recommend you multiplying this number by around one and a half. So let's do 344 multiplied by 1.5. And we see that the number is 516. So a 516 watt power supply will be the minimum so i'm searching for at least a 520 watt power supply so we go here to the power supply section and we search for 550 minimum wattage and we search by the cheapest one now you don't want to buy the cheapest one because a lot of power supplies here are really bad and can hurt your pc build so what you want to do if you don't have any power supply knowledge is go to the psu tier list and once you're inside of this website we have tier a tier b and tier c and i wouldn't buy anything lower than this i wouldn't buy a tier d and especially not a tier e so at least a tier c power supply but this build is a mid-range PC build, so I'm going to go ahead and search for a tier B power supply, which is a mid-range one. And here we have a bunch of power supplies that we can choose from. So you can search any of these on the PSU tier list by clicking Ctrl F. So for example, here I found the Corsair CX550F. This is a 550 watt 80 plus bronze. This is a really good power supply and I will show you why. If we go to the PC tier list website that I just mentioned, as you can see here, we have the Corsair CX2016 or CX slash FRGB. And as we can see here is the CX 550F RGB. So this is a B tier power supply and it's a great option. However, you have to keep looking at these options because for example, for only five extra bucks, you can get the Fantex AMP, which is an 80 plus called 650 watt fully modular power supply is an A tier power supply so it's going to be better and on top of that we get more wattage so it's more future proof and it's 80 plus gold instead of 80 plus bronze which is going to be more efficient so this power supply is overall much better more future proof for only five extra packs so in my opinion this is a no-brainer we are going to go with this one so as you can see we have the system 
and it only costs 875 bucks now if you want to save up some money this is a great option but if you want to do some upgrades you can do some upgrades with the rgb and for example a cpu cooler let's say i want a cpu cooler i'm going to go for the cheapest one because the 5600 doesn't require a really great cpu cooler to be cool and quiet so i love this one the id cooling se214 xt this is a beautiful rgb cpu cooler so we are going to add that for 20 bucks now i'm going to change the ram for 16 gigs with rgb instead because i want an old rgb build so i'm going to search rgb and go from the cheapest one and we have for example the silicon power x power turbine this is an rgb 3200 megahertz cl16 memory kit it's going to be excellent to be honest you can choose this one or the team group one that i usually choose this one is also a 3200 megahertz kit cl16 memory and it's around seven dollars extra but in my opinion it looks better than the other one so i'm going to choose this one and the total price will be 908 bucks now if i want to make this pc a thousand bucks i'm going to change the graphics card to a better one because like I said at the beginning, if you want a gaming PC, the GPU should be your main focus and the 5600 is going to pair well even with a higher end graphics card. So I'm going to go here and search for example the 6700 XT and it's 380 bucks for the MSI version it's pretty good and it's a thousand and three bucks here we have a thousand dollars pc build that is going to perform excellent at 1440p and also 1080p but with this graphics card i want to go for a 1440p monitor this is a great build in my opinion and because we have a 650 watt 80 plus gold power supply we didn't have to change it so in conclusion this is the golden era for building a pc now if you want to wait especially if you have a higher end budget and you want to wait till new gpus come out next month i suggest you to wait until black friday i will be uploading a bunch of videos about black friday deals for pc builds and private pcs and by the way if you want a private pc this video was helpful for you as well because now you know what to look for in a gaming desktop or a streaming pc or a content creation system whatever you want but if you want a private pc you should be careful because there are some scams out there that's why i highly recommend you watching my top five best private pcs on the month by clicking the video in the top right of the screen so thank you guys for watching thank you for the support Please hit the like and subscribe, but most importantly, hit the bell button so you get notified when I upload this type of content. And also get notified when I upload posts about new deals, which I try to do every single day. But if I don't find a good deal, which I try to do every single day, if I find a good deal on that day. So thank you guys. I will see you on the next one.